Hey guys, it's uh, Drew. Um, uh, went to a convention this past weekend, uh, Dreamation, in New Jersey, for those who care. And uh, they had uh, in the discount rack a bunch of uh, minis that uh, uh, for Arcane Legions, as you can see here, uh, which I've been interested in. So, at half price I was willing to you know, drop a little money and make an investment see how they are. Uh, for those unfamiliar with it, um, Arcane Legions, as you can see here, that ships all their minis in these sprues. They're nice, heavy pieces. Um, these are almost like board game pieces in their weight. Nice, solid plastic. Uh, they ship them on the sprues like this, and they, uh, the game's central conceit, for those who aren't aware, is that they come <coughs> and you get these little uh, bases and... Uh, you then plop these things on top, and then the minis go on the bases. They sort of snap in. If you can't see in this shot here, you'll notice how thick those bases are. It's because they actually pop in to these holes here, uh, at least when they have this top on them. So a mini might go here, and the power of the unit is based on <coughs> exactly where they go. So I liked the idea of the game. And the minis themselves weren't actually overly priced to begin with, but, uh, you know, I got a lot of stuff. And uh, so as part of it, I decided, you know, at this price it was a low cost of entry into the investment, so I bought myself uh, one pack of infantry and one pack of uh, cavalry for both the Egyptians and the Romans. Um, uh, and uh, so I'm at the moment in the process of cutting uh, some of the stuff off the sprue. Specifically, a lot of them come with these nicely painted shields, which is, uh, you know, they've got the little cavalry symbol on it for the centaur, and it's gold shield. And uh, <clears throat> they also have these, uh, you know, the tower shields for the Roman legionnaires, or the Greeks in this case, I guess the hoplites probably, I'm not sure. Um, and I'm cutting them off because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these sprues here <clears throat> and I'm going to uh, prime them right on the sprue, uh, on, on the little packs, then I'll cut them out. Because <clears throat> I figure it's easier to paint them that way. We'll see how that actually works out. Okay. Next. One more thing. Uh, I showed you there, I was looking at the infantry, but if you look here, and I'll put these things to the cardboard shipping packs you can see, you'll notice that these particularly cavalrymen um, come with their shields pre-painted. So that's going to create an issue as far as, uh, you know, the other side all looks fine, but on this side you've got these nice pre-painted shields, and I don't really want to lose those because, you know, they look nice. they got the actual symbol on them. Why should I waste their effort? Um, and I think there's about six of them. So what I'm going to do for those guys is I'm going to put a little piece of scotch tape over their shields to hopefully protect them and see how that works when I prime them. So there's the tape on those. And there's the tape on those. Let's see how it works. Alright, well, uh, gonna give it a, a try here and see how it goes. Um, using good old Army Painter uh, Desert Yellow for the uh, color for the Egyptians, what the heck. And uh, naturally, I've chosen a windy day because, you know, that's the only day I seem to prime these things. I'm uh, going to place them in this box since they're on the sprues, and since I'm going to actually hold them up and just paint them, I'm wearing the, the glove this time. So let's see how it works. We've got the guys with the stickers on them. We'll see how it works.
And there we have it. A little paint there, but uh, now we'll let them dry and see how it works.